Hi, my name's Daniel Pemberton and I'm the composer on the new Guy Ritchie film, The Man From UNCLE. Guy wanted every single cue to feel iconic and he wanted every single cue to feel more like a track than a piece of score. So that meant we had to find ways of making every piece of music more memorable. So often that meant trying to find an unusual instrument or an unusual way of doing something to make it kind of appear new. We had really good fun recording the score. When we were in the studio, I made sure there was space for us to try experimenting, you know, try some crazy ideas. Sometimes they worked. Sometimes they didn't. We've got all these individual performances, but then, you know, we've got it supplemented sometimes by, you know, you know, great string sections and brass sections supporting these kind of more quirky individual instruments on certain tracks. Two drummers at once. You know, that just gives us that huge sound. You know, you write all the parts out and you can play at the same time. You've got two people, same room, the air's moving around, it just sounds fantastic. I wanted to try and push it away more from strings, what we see as more traditional movie music, into something that was a bit more unusual. So my favorite bit in the film, I don't know, there's so many tracks I love. I love like the crazy flutes, like, they playing the flute, like almost running out of breath in the East Berlin chase. There's a track when Solo is finding bugs in his hotel room. Is this on? Whatever sounds the best when we do it, anyway, we'll make that. You know, I got to travel back to the 1960s on this film and try and make a score that would feel authentic and part of that era. But at the same time, I wanted to feel new and not pastiche. I wanted to feel fresh and exciting to anyone watching the movie now. So, working on a 1960s spy film, for me, was like a dream come true. So this is the echo chamber. So, we fire the drums into here, the echo is picked up by these mics. Uh, which is the way they used to record things a lot in the 60s. It was great fun to go back to the 60s to try and create a new sound for now. <laughs> 